What's going on? David here with another episode. We're going to code using ChatGPT an indicator for trading view using PineScript for Tesla. But you could probably use it for any uh, stock out there, whether it's Microsoft, Meta, whatever. Um, so let's get to it. So open up ChatGPT and type in um, list. Uh, actually, yeah, well, create a list of technical indicators for Tesla stock. All right, and then let that roll. Let it generate a bunch of technical indicators here. If you go into trading view uh, under indicators, uh, technical indicators, you're gonna see a bunch of different indicator strategies, patterns and whatnot, but we're going to try to create and customize our own indicator here. Uh, and then look, it gave us uh, 15 of them, a bunch of them. Uh, so let's just pick one here, moving averages. Uh, let's go code in, code in trading view pine script, uh, version five. So we want to be very specific in what we're asking ChatGTP. Um, version five syntax the simple moving average the SMA, the close price of the asset and plot it on the chart with a blue color. So here's an example of the simple moving average in trading view, PineScript version five. That looks kind of very simple here, but let's give it a try here. Copy, go under Pine, uh, Pine Editor, paste it, add to chart, and boom, look at that. We got a simple moving average, 50. I guess we can change it to whatever we want here, add to chart, now we got a 20. And then you can customize it like that. Uh, you can go to technical indicators, go into indicators, moving average, and where did that one go? Let's see, there you go. Um, wow, looks nice, huh? So you can open that up, open the code up so so you know, and here's the actual code for the trading view um, indicator. So copy that and let's ask ChatGPT, can you explain the following um, PineScript code to me? And then you shift enter, so it gives you kind of like a line break, and then paste it. Let's see if PineScript can explain. This PineScript code creates a custom technical indicator that calculates and plots a moving average line on the chart. Here's the breakdown of the code. The first line, version 5, indicates the code is written in chat view PineScript. That's good and it gives you a bunch of explanations for all the um, parameters of the code, which is fantastic because then you can kind of use that to customize your code. So um, let's once it's done generating the explanation, let's try to customize it and um, compile it. So wow, what an explanation. It goes into detail of every little aspect of the script. All right, so look, you can change the title, lens. The lens input is an integer 
input that determines the length of the moving average. The offset allows the user to offset the moving average. Okay, so we can change the offset. Um, so let's try it. Uh, update the code. And change the offset to, I don't know, 250. Change the smoothing length to 50. And change the title to trading view, uh, what is it? Simple moving average with a twist. No, um, edited, edited, how do you spell edited? Edited, uh, version 0 0.01, 0 0.1, okay. Boom, let that run, let's see. Here's the updated code. Oh, look at that, it changed that, that title. All right. So it should be roughly the same code that we gave ChatGPT. But who knows, maybe we'll get an error. sweet color. All right, we're going to copy the code. You can definitely read that explanation, but it says that it did complete the tasks that we asked it to change the offset, the smooth length and the title. Those are the three things we asked it to change. So we would, I don't think we can, yeah, it's locked. So what we'll do is we'll go to our indicators, create a reference script, paste it in there remove your old scripts remember to do that uh and add to chart let's see it's compiling and look i don't know what all that means maybe you do um mess around with it let me know what you come up with what kind of indicators you create share them to me if you like this video if you learned something leave a comment subscribe uh, let me know how you did. I'll probably post this to um, GitHub. You know, I will post it to GitHub. You'll find it, the link in the description. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me how you, how you did. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.